Hello, everybody. How's it going? All right. Yeah, nice to meet you all. Uh, my name is Amber. Uh, a little bit about me. I've been studying uh, in a drama school in London. So I've lived in London for about five months, and now I am home for five months, and then I go back. And in these past five months, it's the first time in my life that I am not an employee or a student, which is awesome. I've been doing a lot of nothing. Uh, I'm a huge scab of society, which is kind of cool for the first time. Uh, that's not true, though. I have been doing a lot of day drinking and, uh, yeah, and a lot of yoga. Not together, though. Is that dangerous? <laughs> Daiquiris do not mix with downward dog. <laughs> Unless, of course, you like broken noses. Um, but in this time, in these past five months, I've had a lot of time to get very familiar with myself. And not in light of masturbation sense. Uh, not only in a masturbation sense, I should say. Uh, but, for instance, I used to think that PMS was a myth. Uh, I was always able to blame stress on work or school or something like that. And now... When I have emotional abnormalities, uh, I have nothing to blame it on. Yeah. So, example, I came home uh, a couple months ago. I came home, turned on the last 15 minutes of a movie, sat down by myself in my apartment, totally uninvested, and two seconds into watching the movie, I started to cry. The movie, yeah, that's ridiculous. The movie was The Water Boy. Sorry. <laughs> I sit down and uh, Bobby Boucher gets tackled and Kathy Bates yells out, my baby! And cheers. <laughs> Vicky Valencourt runs onto the field with the Eskimo water. Bobby Boucher gets up and says, that's some fine quality H2O. Cheers. <laughs> uh, the mud dogs at the end, spoiler alert, win the mud bowl. And uh, he yells out, I love mama! Cheers. <laughs> Kathy Bates tackles the cross-eyed dad. Rob Schneider yells, you can do it all night long! Full-fledged sobbing. <laughs> Ridiculous, pathetic. Uh, yeah. Two days later, started my period. No. <laughs> now I believe in PMS. And I'm sorry, guys, because I know that periods are really gross to talk about, so this next joke is for you. Does everybody know what a queef is? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's kind of funny. It's a vagina fart, for those of you that don't know. Uh, does anybody know what a bleep is? A bloody vagina fart. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Yeah. So I'm a very lucky person in the fact that I am an only child and I have two parents that fully support the idea of me being an actor, uh, or at least I thought they supported the idea of me being an actor. Uh, two days ago, I got a 20 second voicemail from my dad that went a little something like this. Hey, sweetheart. Uh, so I was just thinking this morning, you know, maybe Maybe acting isn't what you do to make money. Maybe that's just what you do for fun. And maybe you find another career to make money. I don't know, just thinking out loud. Love you, sweetheart. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Here's the thing. I decided I was going to be an actor when I was 10 years old. You wait 13 fucking years to drop that ball on me? <laughs> Holy shit, I'm 23. It's getting a little late for me to turn my life around and start going to college again because that's... This is what the voicemail sounded like to me. It was like, hey, sweetheart, I uh, just wanted to call and see how your day was. Me and your mom might get a divorce. Also, I uh, had a salad for lunch, so I thought you'd be proud of that. By the way, your dog died yesterday. Got run over by a car. I know, I'm so sorry, sweetheart. I was thinking about maybe getting a pink shirt. Wanted to see what you thought about that. Also, I have stage four cancer. Love you, sweetheart. Bye. -bye. Bye. Uh, but on the serious, my dad is a very supportive person normally, besides that voicemail. Uh, he's so supportive that he sat down to watch Twilight with me and the women in my family last Thanksgiving. True story. Right? Aw. Now, let me paint this picture. My dad, I don't even like that movie, too, number one. Uh, my dad is a 6'2", big guy with a muscular build, very, very intimidating looking. And uh, here's some great Mike Lou Allen quotes that came out of that movie. Uh, we're sitting there watching. I point to Jacob and I say, hey, Dad, you see that guy? He is a werewolf. You're shitting me. <laughs> what? He's a werewolf? No fucking way. <laughs> Wait, uh, it gets to the part where Edward tells uh, Bella, spoiler alert, that he's a vampire. And Edward's like, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you haven't seen me. I don't know what uh, Edward says, Bella, you don't understand. 
I've killed people. And Bella says, that doesn't matter. And my dad stands up and yells, that matters. <laughs> that would matter. Amber, that matters. Thanks, Dad. Noted. Got it. <laughs> but then my back pocket for later. Got it. Don't date anybody that's killed somebody. Uh, but also, so like I said, I've had time to get very familiar with myself. Um, and I've discovered that I have two very contradicting sides to myself. I am totally a hopeless romantic, but I'm also very much an independent asshole. Uh, yep. So like part of me would love to have a boyfriend to love and care for and snuggle with, but the other part of me is would not make a commitment like that in a million years, ever, fucking never. Uh, so like the hopeless romantic part of me really enjoys listening to Taylor Swift on the treadmill. Uh, loves holding babies a little bit too long. Totally identifies with Lloyd Dobler. Drinks a lot of wine while watching The Bachelor. And uh, may or may not play The Sims and uh, <laughs> proceed to make two characters named Mr. and Mrs. Timberlake and uh, make them have 13 babies and just for fun name them all Ralph. Uh, but then the independent asshole side of me never calls people back, <laughs> flashes people on road trips, totally identifies with late 90s Jay-Z because you know me, I Fuck em, fuck em, fuck em, but I don't fucking need em. Keep em out the hood, keep em looking good, but I don't fucking need em. I also uh, play the Oregon Trail uh, by myself. <laughs> very viciously. Very viciously to the point where everybody dies except for me, and I'm the only one that makes it to Oregon. <laughs> and uh, I like to drink whiskey while watching Man vs. Wild. Bear Grylls, love of my life. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so sometimes my roommate will come home and she'll see me sitting on uh, the couch with my laptop on my lap, watching maybe Hot Rod with a glass of whiskey in my hand. And she'll know to ask me, no, you playing the Oregon Trail? <laughs> yep. Am I uh, a character in your wagon on the way to Oregon? Yeah. Have I died yet? Yep. <laughs> How did I die? Dysentery, tears. Two days later, I stopped my period. <laughs> 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 